If you're unfamiliar with your topic or assignment, it's fine to use Wikipedia or random sources you find from a search engine to get a basic understanding. But if you cite these sources in a paper, your professors most likely will not take it very seriously. That's because anyone can publish on the web and you don't want to use just any source for your project. College-level assignments require college-level sources, which are written by well-respected researchers and experts, usually in scholarly articles. But sometimes, articles from reputable newspapers, magazines, or web sources can also be acceptable. So how can you use the web to your advantage to find these respectable sources? Be smart and evaluate. There's no easy answer as to what a good web source and a bad web source is, but a little bit of judgment and research can go a long way. Start by asking who wrote this and what is the purpose of the website? If the website doesn't tell you about the author, try a Google search. Does the author have expertise in what he or she is writing about? Elite publications? This indicates the author is an authoritative source. You also want to make sure the website is well-known and respected. For example, if the URL you're looking at ends in something like .blogspot.com, you probably want to do a little research before citing that web page, because anyone could sign up for a blogger page and write about anything they want, regardless of their qualifications. You should also consider bias. Is this information trying to persuade you of something? At first glance, SweetSurprise.com seems purely informational, but if you go to the About Us page, You'll see it's run by the Corner Finders Association, who, if you think about it, have a financial stake in presenting only positive information about high fructose corn syrup because they are trying to sell corn-based products. You might try finding a source that is less biased than this one. And be sure to think about where the author is getting his or her information from. Are their sources listed? Are the sources themselves from reliable sources? You are making the effort to get good authoritative information, so you probably don't want to use something that cites Wikipedia as a reference. Also, check the date. Is it current enough to be relevant to your research? Could there be newer information? If you're researching global warming and are using a source from 2003, you might be missing out on more up-to-date information. But if your topic is ancient Greek sculptures, there probably hasn't been much groundbreaking research in the last several decades, so an older source is most likely okay. You might think of other ways to evaluate your web source. Great! Being a little critical is what scholarly research is all about.